Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. I want to apologize, we're running a little bit behind. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Aquarius, I want to let you guys know, apologize ahead of time. If you guys hear noise in the background, I truly apologize. I stay by the mountains and it is extremely windy right now. So just putting it out there. All right, let's get into your reading. Let's see what spirit has for you, Aquarian, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for the month of December 2020. Now, when shuffling the deck, I did have the world card pop out, and I felt very pulled towards it, so we're definitely going to keep it. Your next card here is the Chariot card. Wow, two major arcanas, you guys. The third card here is the Two of Wands and the Seven of Wands. All right, Aquarius. All right, my lovelies, you guys are starting off the month with the world card. So there's a lot of ending cycles here, taking it to the next level for some of you guys. Now with the world card and the chariot and two of wands, I definitely do see uh, travel here for you guys. For some of you guys, it could be that you're traveling, um, going towards a individual perhaps that you're dealing with, a person that um, could be long distance relationship or a long distance connection. But I definitely do see you guys putting in the effort or wanting to uh, go out um, out of your way to actually make this like get off the ground. I feel that for some of you guys, uh, this could be a, a new connection. For others of you, this could be a person that you connect in the month of December that uh, they may live like there may be some distance involved. Nonetheless, I do see throughout the month of December going into January, a lot of you guys are going to be either... Uh, like I said, traveling, going to see them, going to visit them. Uh, for some of you guys, uh, there is definitely, I feel that for some of you guys, there could be expansion in regards to having an opportunity in regards to work or your finances, how you make money, um, that they're going to give you an opportunity. To, it has something con in connection with uh, traveling. So I do see that for you guys. Now with the world card, like I said, this is an ending cycle, uh, but it also represents uh, going into the next cycle of your life. Um, for some of you guys, uh, expansion is definitely on the horizon for you. Now, if you don't know, we're going into Aquarius era. Um, we've pretty much astrologically wise, uh, we've been uh, dealing with earth signs for the past 200 years. Uh, and we're going into the cycle or into the era of Aquarian. So it's Aquarian energy. There's a lot of growth and expansion for you guys. There's going to be a lot of opportunities to making uh, money. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be wanting or desiring to start your own business. And you're definitely getting the green light here with the chariot and the world card. Uh, you guys are going to need to really push your limits for this month of December and January, uh, even unfolding into 2021. What they're saying here is there's a lot of growth and possibilities for you guys. Um, but I feel that you guys have been either restricted or you guys have been kind of letting certain things, um, certain opportunities kind of like sit take a, a back seat uh for some of you guys with the seven of wands here i feel that you guys are letting uh fear get in the way of your expansion or of your growth um for some of you guys this could represent like uh if you've been doing some type of business or you work for a company or you've been at the workplace that you are for quite a few years uh, and there's almost this feeling like I'm over it or uh, a feeling of complacent, uh, complacency here. What they're saying is you could achieve so much more Aquarius, but you really have to push yourself. Uh, don't let the fear hold you back or don't feel like, you know, like I, I I'm almost hearing like, well, I'll deal with that when we cross that bridge. But what they're telling you is opportunities come around and we have to take those opportunities you can't expect um you can't expect those opportunities to sit there and wait for you to make up your mind so i feel that a lot of you guys have have major dreams and goals and aspirations that you're trying to make happen um but for some of you guys i feel that with the two of wands if you can see here closely it's like you're sitting back and seeing certain things unfold 
And for some of you guys, it could be either because you fear like going on your own or you feel like pulling away for some of you guys, even like uh, if we're talking about travel for some of you guys, it could be that what you want to do, you know, is going to take you away from your family or from your friends and you're very connected to them. And there's like a feeling of I don't really feel like I'm capable of doing that. But what spirit is telling you is you got to pay attention to the signs, Aquarius. You do have if you can see at the very top, there is it's almost like um, an, an ego passing by. And this is an element of air, which has all to do with, uh, you know, communication and expansion and ideas that may be coming to you that are coming to you very naturally, especially right now. You could be very intuitive. And I feel that what they're trying to tell you, this is communication from spirit telling you, take the leap of faith. Do what you feel like you must do at this present time. Stop putting it in the back burner. Stop waiting for things to be ideal. Um, now, this could even represent, as an example, if you are planning on traveling or if you're planning on, uh, e even for some of you guys, if you're dealing with a person from a distance and you feel like you have... You're waiting for the perfect timing. What they're telling you here is there's no such thing as perfect timing. Um, when we're talking about opportunities, we have to take those opportunities. So what they're saying is stop sitting by allowing life to pass you by. Because with the world card and the chariot, this is very quick movement. This is movement that is unfolding rather quickly. And you're from a distance just looking at things unfold or people move on or people do certain things in their life and you're kind of like on the sidelines and what they're telling you is you got to stop doing that you got to take the opportunities grab the bull by the horns and take a leap of faith i do see you guys again with the seven of wands this is like you feeling a bit guarded feeling like uh you're you're questioning a lot of things right now aquarius and i think that going into not just the end of December, but even the beginning of next year, I feel that you guys are going to be very in your head about where you want to take your life, where you want to go, what you're trying to achieve, what is your soul's uh, purpose or desire. And I definitely see you guys here. We have two major arcanas in the, just this full uh, four card spread. So this is talking about a lot of things that are happening that are out of your control. This is the universe conspiring. This is the universe making changes. If you guys have been hoping and praying, um, you know, to spirit or to God to open new pathways or to make something different or, or a change in your life, what they're telling you is open your eyes because things are unfolding and they're unfolding very quickly. Now, with the world card here and the chariot, they're also telling me there is this there's this energy that is going to be around you or is going to be influencing a lot of the things that you're wanting to do. I feel that you guys are very methodical when you're going to make a decision, but I feel you guys being like very passionate and very intense or even excited for this month, even going into 2021. I feel that you guys are going to be more impulsive than you usually are. And this is a beautiful thing, Aquarius, because sometimes you guys could overanalyze or overthink a lot. And what they're telling you is when you come into this energy of being very excited, of having or even being able to look towards the future, which that's a tendency that you guys possess. That's that that's a... a a blessing that you guys possess, a gift that you're able to see certain things unfold in the near future uh, while other people could just sit around and think about or worry about the everyday mundane things. I feel that you guys really analyze before taking major decisions. And I feel that for the end of this year, going into next year, there's going to be a lot of transformative energy here. For some of you guys, this could be like relocating. This could be picking up your things and just going somewhere um, really for some of you guys even like following your heart's desire uh, and I know that Aquarians have a tendency of uh, have an issue with doing that uh, but I definitely see you guys much more like excited and thrilled re-energized really I see you guys going towards your goals and like not looking back and what spirit is telling you is about damn time Aquarius do not fear 
Now, I also see here for some of you guys, you may be dealing with cancer energy. You may be dealing with fire. Uh, Aquarius, uh, sorry, not Aquarius, uh, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries type of energy. Um, now, what they're saying here is, again, I feel that there's a lot of expansion and a lot of growth that's going to be unfolding for you guys. Uh, this is very exciting type of energy. I see that for a lot of you guys, partnerships is going to be major for this year. Uh, I want to say the end of this year, the beginning of next year. For those of you guys that have been single for a very long time, that's going to quickly come to an end. Why? Because I do see a connection uh, with a specific individual and he's he or she's coming in very quickly. Uh, for others of you, you may find love around friends. So what I mean by friends is you could put you could end up in a position where you actually end up connecting or really vibing with a someone you already know. Um, and like I said, I feel that distance has something to do here, but I definitely do see uh, connection. I definitely do see opportunities for it's almost what they're telling me is for some of you guys, you you may be uh, meeting your, your match. Someone that is um, ideal for you. Someone that has the same goals and aspirations than you. Perhaps they have the same mentality, the same... They want and expect the same thing that you want and expect in relationships. And for some of you guys, this could be long in the making. Um, the reason I say that is the world card usually indicates it's like a very long cycle, right? You're going into the next cycle of your life. Uh, you're achieving or completing an old cycle, being able to embrace a new beginning. So I feel that for some of you guys, this has been long in the waiting or in the making. For others of you, this could represent like distance played a role in regards to partnerships or in regards to relationships for some of you guys you may have actually gotten out of a relationship um, where you've always felt some type of connection with 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 someone. Uh, and I feel that for some of you guys, you already know this person. You always felt some type of connection, but I feel that for some of you guys, it could have been like a feeling of them just being a dream or being some type of illusion or being just someone that was unattainable. And I feel that things are quickly going to be progressing and moving and I feel that all the signs are pointing to like the universe showing you uh that this connection was meant to be or it was in the cards um like I said this could represent exactly uh knowing or dealing with this individual for quite a while but I feel that there's no like physical connection so you could have heard about them you could have known about them um, but I definitely do see this connection happening and unfolding for you guys. Now, let's see what Spirit's specific message is for you here. Spirits, what is the direct message you want to share with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this month of December 2020? Aquarian, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. The message here is you think someone is lying. And in the back, it says they are. <laughs> All right. So you think someone is lying and they are. For some of you guys, I feel that what they're trying to say here is you denying something to yourself. For some of you guys, it could be the feeling of, again, if you are dealing with a specific individual that perhaps challenges you or perhaps you feel like they are unattainable i feel that you've tried to convince yourself especially if this is a connection that you've been dealing with for a very long time i feel that you've kind of convinced yourself of that and i feel that more than anything this is your energy aquarian like you've been trying so hard to resist this connection but i feel that deep down in your bones you probably know that this connection is meant to happen um, and this could be you that has resisted that connection for a very long time. For some of you guys, you've known this person for a very long time. Uh, for others of you, if it is a recent connection, it could be that you've, you know, you guys love freedom and it could be that something scary when you meet someone and you have an undeniable connection with the person and you have the necessity or the need uh, to be free or roam free sometimes, um, having such strong connection really makes us 
overthink, you know, and it gets in our head and and we start doubting ourselves or we start, you know, thinking or our insecurities start to come up. And what they're telling you here is let that go, you know, let that that feeling of inadequacy go. Uh, for some of you guys, that could be the fear that's holding you back. So I feel that this is your energy. This is not the other person. I feel that this is something you've been trying to deny. Or you've been trying to fight. For some of you guys, it could be that just recently, you know, you started having this feeling or this pull like I have to reach out to them. I have to contact them or I have to go see them. Um, so definitely put yourself out there, Aquarius. I see success for you guys. Honestly, a lot of expansion and growth for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Happy holidays. Bye.